So to download and install IPVanish to your computer, it's actually very simple. The first thing we need to do is to open our web browser and you want to go to IPVanish.com. Alternatively, I will leave an affiliate link in the description in case you want to get yourself a discount and support the channel at the same time. But once you're on the homepage, you want to select apps just in the top drop down menu. I want to select the platform you're currently using. Because I'm using Windows 11, I'm going to select the Windows VPN. So once you're on the download page, you can scroll to check out more information about the VPN and there is a lot of features that this VPN offers. However, we want to download the VPN, so you want to scroll all the way to the top and click on download VPN app. You then want to select where you want to download the installer, so in this case I'm going to use my desktop. So once you've got the installer downloaded to your computer, you just want to go ahead and open the application and you just want to install the application just as you would with any other program. You will need to use admin permissions to do this, so make sure you're an admin. So now we've got IP Vanish installed to our computer, you just want to go ahead and open up the application and again you will need admin permissions to do this. And once it opens up, you will be prompted to log into your account. So if you don't already have an IP Vanish account, you want to come back to the website and click on get started in the top right hand corner. You then want to select a payment method that works best for you. And again, if you use the affiliate link in the description, you can get yourself a discount. You then want to scroll down, enter in your account details and click on subscribe now and your account will be activated. So once you've logged into your account, IP Vanish should look something like this. Now if you want to connect to different servers, the first method is to use this map method on the right hand side where you can manually drag it and manually select servers from around the world. Alternatively, you can select the location tab just on the left hand side and you can select all the servers from a list view. Alternatively, if you want to connect to the fastest available server, you just want to click on this big blue connect button and within a few seconds you'll be connected to the fastest available server where you can go ahead and start streaming content online or browse the internet safely. If we go back to the homepage, here it's going to give you a graph view of how much data you're using, including your new public IP address and your current uptime. It will also show you which protocol you're using, in this case we're using WireGuard, which I recommend, along with a kill switch which you can toggle. If you want to disconnect from the VPN, all you need to do is click on the big disconnect button in the top left hand corner, and within a few seconds you'll be disconnected from the VPN server. And that's it, so if you have any questions or comments, leave them below and I'll reply to you as soon as I can.